Hi guys, it's Lori. I just wanted to pop in and give you all an update on my finding my birth family journey. I just went and had lunch with my birth mom, Joanne, for the second time. We actually went to the same place we did uh, when we first met at Bob Evans. It was delicious. <laughs> um, I was able to eat a lot better this time. Um, we had some really good conversation. Um, I can't remember if I actually uh, told you all in a video that I had went to her home in October. Um, Ron, my husband, and I, uh, and our three girls, and uh, Emily's boyfriend, we all went to her home and met her husband and my half-brother, Jeremy. So exciting. Um, I felt connected to him as soon as... As he gave me a big hug it was the weirdest thing like immediate um, it kind of surprised me um, since that point um, I've been th I just been thinking about that and I think the reason why I was so open to him is because I don't have a brother and at that point in time, I'm so worried about stepping on my adoptive family's toes and hurting anybody's feelings that I kind of like held back to some degree. But I think maybe the reason why I was able to open up to him and like was because I don't have a brother for him to, you know, replace or step on his toes or whatever. I don't have a brother. So I think that might be the reason. I've done lots of thinking, lots of processing still, um, but I'm feeling really good. Today I went in confident. I felt present for the first time. The first lunch and then being at her home, um, I, I kind of felt like I don't know, the only way I can describe it is an out-of-body experience, kind of like it was so overwhelming to me that I did not feel like I was completely present. And I told her, please don't be offended if I ask you questions you've already told me the answer to because I may just not be, I, I, I just wasn't fully present. I was so overwhelmed. This was such an overwhelming experience. But today I was able to sit and have a good conversation, look forward to getting together. And, um, you know, I, I've always heard this, um, this phrase, DTR, define the relationship. And I feel, kind of feel like that's what we did. Um, I did have a sit down with my adoptive mom at Thanksgiving and I wanted to get her feelings because I was, I wanted her to tell me how she feels and to tell me, to be open and to be completely honest because I felt like I was holding back a little bit with uh, my birth mother because I don't want to hurt my adoptive mom's feelings at all. My adoptive mom is amazing. Joanne's amazing too, but I just didn't want my adoptive mom to have any to feel bad or to be sad or you know you know what I mean and so we had a complete wonderful conversation and she was I, I told her I said I want to be honest I would like to be able to have a relationship with Joanne my birth mother and she said she was fine with that completely fine with that and so, and I, I felt that. Me, my mom and I are both very honest with each other. And I felt like it's safe now. It is safe not to hurt my adoptive mom's feelings. I can, I can do what I want with this. And that was very important to me. So, I think that's another reason I went into this so comfortable today. I knew what I wanted. And, like... We start talking and we basically DTR, define the relationship. <laughs> and, you know, we want to see each other like once a month. You know, I told her, I would like for you, for this to be like an extension 
of our family now. Like we have my husband's side of the family, my side of the family, and I'd, I'd like to also have their side, that side of the family. So it's like a bonus side. <laughs> So, and I'd like to get together for holidays, just like we do with the other sides of the family. I would just like to bring them in and make them ours and us be theirs. And I don't know. I just, I'm, I feel that. I, I think it's just like a great bonus. And she wants that too. And so I couldn't be happier. And I apologize to this son. I have like a sun beard. <laughs> so if I'd have a completely sun face if it wasn't for the visor. But I'm feeling really good. And she bought, she brought me these uh, amazing things that she made. Let me show you real quick. I'm going on a very, very straight road, so no worries. But she made me flavored butters. Let me see if I hold it up here. Yes, she made me, let me see if I can remember, uh, cranberry, lemon, cayenne pepper, and chocolate English toffee butter. You know what I'm having for dinner? Toast. <laughs> oh, and she also made me one more flavor. Get this off my hand. A big one and this is orange. And she's going to make this and sell it in, she's wanting to get it in little shops. I love her entrepreneurial spirit. I've got that too. There were several things today that we were like, oh, she would say things and I'd be like, me too, me too, me too. There's so much we're like, there's some things we're definitely not alike, but yeah, there's, I can see me in there <laughs> or her in here. So, but, uh, Maybe it's her in here, I guess, would be more. But um, I can't wait to try those out. That, that big one was orange, if I didn't say that. So I'm just a little excited, if you can't tell. So you guys, I, if you have not, if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about and you feel like you've missed what me finding my birth mom, um, I'm, I have created a playlist where you can go back and I start from the very moment I was spit in the 23andMe kit. You don't have to see any spitting, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't even show you the spit in the vial. Nothing grows, but my feelings through it all. And so I think it's I think it's exciting to watch. So if you wanna go back and watch those, uh, I did create a, a, a playlist, so you can do that. All right, you guys, I just wanted to give you that update. Um, the next plan is to get together with, um, she's going to come to my home and we're going to do a, we're doing a watch a movie, no, read the book, watch the movie book club in our little town. And so we're doing eat, pray, love. And so she's going to come over and do that with me. So on, um, I think it's March 8th and she'll be at my home for the first time, which kind of freaks me out a little and I want to clean everything. So, especially them baseboards. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you're getting to do a little diamond painting. Bye.